Hello, I'm Kate and welcome along to this video. I hope you're okay. Sending lots of love to everyone. Hope you've had a nice week. So this is going to be a come shopping with me vlog. So going to be having a good look around the original factory shop. And I'm currently in Stalham in Norfolk. And then once we've had a good look around, going to be doing some filming. Um, I'll take everything home that I've bought today and show you everything in more detail. That's the video. It's a sponsored one. So it's been very kindly sponsored by the original factory shop. And just in case you don't know, they sell all sorts and you'll get up to 70% off high street prices and they sell everything from fashion to beauty to garden to home furnishings all sorts so I'll show you when we have a look around I'll be filming and yeah they do big savings and I'm really excited to go and have a look around and I popped into the original factory shop a few weeks ago to have a little look around and they had some gorgeous garden items and beautiful kind of outdoor cushions and rugs and plant pots so it'll be really exciting to have a look again and see what they have so i'm definitely after some garden items the weather's been so beautiful recently so i'm always up for having a look for some plant pots and different things for the garden or maybe some camping chairs i'm after some really comfortable camping chairs so that's the plan so i'm going to get shopping now because it's really hot in my car getting quite hot um so let's head in have a good look around and then like i said i'll show you everything that i found once i get home and i'll i'll set it up as well and here it is on salem high street the original factory shop yeah it's such a gorgeous day so lovely oh i can already see some hanging baskets outside that's exciting I do love coming to Stal Stalham High Street. They've got some really good charity shops and little coffee shops. I'm going straight over to those hanging baskets. Are they artificial ones. You can see some camping chairs. No. Nope. <laughs> oh yeah, they are artificial ones. Okay, 20 pounds for the hanging topiary balls. That's pretty. They look really realistic actually. These ones, especially the purple and yellow. Oh, these are camping chairs. There's one for £12. These are the deluxe ones. So I am after the ones that are a bit bigger, like these, the deluxe ones. So I might be getting that. We'll have a look inside and see what we've got. Yeah, like I said, they've got all sorts in here. It's all the fashion and beauty and some perfume. All the makeup and everything. And this is what I'm after. Oh, look at that. Chimney. A little chicken there. Hello, chicken. Flamingo. <laughs> and what have we got here? Metal roosters. So got some things you can put in your gardens with little friends. It's cute. Little bee. Little butterflies and ladybirds. Oh, they're five, five pounds. That's good. Oh. Oh, look at this little one. These are little solar light. That's really cute. There's some very exotic peacocks up there. All right, let's see what's here. love those um those pots i've got quite a few kind of similar in my garden they're really nice some big lanterns here well i like these natural these natural ones so fire metal basket the original factory shop's price 40 pounds and then these are also 40 the big lanterns or outdoor barbecue as well these are nice these lanterns on, I was going to say sticks, that's not right, is it? Lanterns on legs, probably. Oh, I do love a basket. Is that a belly basket? That's um, £15. Oh, that's nice as well. Solar large lantern. £12 for the natural foldable storage basket. I love those baskets. Oh, that's pretty, that wreath up there. That's lovely. This one's really nice as well, this... Um, this lantern it's 15 pounds it's gorgeous with the rope on top and all the details large gray willow lantern and they've got these zero gravity 
chairs, 59 pounds, like a sun loungery chairs, which I'm sure will be very comfortable. Some more little friends over here. They've got good selection of outdoor lights as well. The solar string lights, the bulb ones, I do love those. Oh, they're really nice. There's another wreath there with little peonies on. Eucalyptus and peonies, that's £20, that one. Very cute little um, solar succulents. Five pounds, that's good. Let's go down here. Oh, camping things. Well, this side's camping. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to um, to going camping. It's a nice tray. Some plant pots. And they've got some barrels down here for eighteen pounds. But obviously they're a lot lighter than a normal sort of heavy wooden ones. Oh, that's nice as well. This um, tall black tall rattan solar can candle lantern for twenty pounds. Got some more kind of picnicy things here. Some trays, that's really sweet. Oh, that's gorgeous. This little tray, bamboo eco large serving tray. We've got some really cute sort of kid gardening things here. Cute little mushrooms and a fairy's enchanted garden. Oh, they're nice. Oh, I like these plant pots here. They're really sweet. That's nice. That round one there. Got my little bees. Let's see what's down here. Oh, some treats for Rufus. Can't forget him. So more chairs and tables and things here and the cushions. The seat pads. The parasol base I just asked at £25. So just in case you wanted to know. These are more of the camping chairs, the deluxe ones. Some lovely home. Oh, look at those. Hang on, let's sneak down here. They're really pretty the little bee seat pads. They're gorgeous. I keep getting distracted by everything. That's nice as well, really nice. Okay, right back to the garden things. Let's go up here. Through the pet section. And then over here, some more kind of garden furniture and little greenhouse table and chairs there. A parasol. That's lovely to see. They partner with local businesses. Oh, that's great. So if you join the gym, it's like you get a gift card, which is good, isn't it? Oh, I love those big planters. I've got a couple of these actually. I've got some um, shrubs growing out of some of them. They're doing really well and then some geraniums in another one so I do really like those. Little table and chairs, these big lanterns and a huge parasol, cantilever parasol. So if you like a bit of shade that's going to be perfect for the summer. And they're really nice, the rattan benches. They're nice, I like that brown rattan. Okay, all right, let's keep going down here. Another garden bench, so that's 69 pounds for that one. And then, have I been everywhere? Oh no, I haven't been here, some bigger plant pots. Some planters, trellis, expanding window trellis. And there's an easy bloom hanging basket. So that is eight pounds. Got lots of paint here. If you need to do any painting, I love that green. I do need to do them. Um, I do need to paint. I've got some garden furniture that I need to 
actually paint. I bought some paint a while ago, so I need to get around to doing that. Compost, or some artificial grass here. All in one lawn feeder. We do need some of that actually. Sturdy old dustpan and brush for outside. Let's go down here. It's a nice garden arch there. That's twenty pounds. They're handy, aren't they? These trolley um wire plant trolleys so you can put it on and move it around. I'm always lugging them around and moving them, so that probably would be a, a better idea having one of them. Willow edging. That's five pounds. Propagator. Oh that's a good idea, isn't it? I've just found a really nice cushion in the corner and some rattan chairs. They're thirty pounds. And then what's this here? Greenhouse polytunnel, £20. I've just seen they've got this set up in the window, some more lanterns, the fire pit and chair and a little folding table as well, which is always so handy in the garden, isn't it? It's now time to choose. I think I'm going to go for the luxury camping chairs and then maybe get some little accessories. I've just chosen everything and paid for it and now I'm going to head home and I'll show you in more detail. But this is such a good shop. I was just like looking around. There's so many different areas with loads of reductions and so I'm definitely going to be coming back. The home section is gorgeous. There's some really nice clothes as well. And it's such a nice building and the staff are brilliant in there. So thank you so much for all their help. They were fantastic. And they got quite busy at one point um, and they were great. Everyone seemed really happy. So it's obviously, a really nice store, a nice shop for the community as well. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Hello again, I'm back home. It's the afternoon, it's just gone one o'clock and I thought I would film the haul in the garden because it's such a lovely day and everything we're about to show you is for camping as for outdoors. So I thought, well, I'll film it outside, but it's a bit windy. So I'm hoping the wind won't affect too much because it's, uh, I hope it won't make those blowy noises, but you can probably hear some little birds, which would be quite nice. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you everything here. Before I do, I've got to my mug of the day. Mug of the day sitting here. Um, and I've only got a water because it's the afternoon now, so I'm not gonna have another coffee, but it's this lovely Caff Kidston one that I found ages ago, I think in a car boot sale or something. So this is my mug of the day. So I'll show you everything that I picked up this morning in the original factory shop. And I did go for the luxurious luxury camping chairs because we really needed them. And I love the fact I've now got three matching posh camping chairs. So I'll show you those in a second, but I've got some other bits and bobs to take camping. I like having nice things when I'm camping. You know, if you're gonna be roughing it and sleeping in a tent, I like to have nice things around me. So I got some of these tumblers, so I'll start off with these. And they were £1.50 each. And on here it just says, enjoy summer with bellow design. So they're nice and big, kind of, I think just, I don't know, between half a pint and a pint. So a really good size and I got four of these. So we'll take those camping. I don't know what we've got. I think we've got some really old ones that we've had for ages. So I'll probably send those to the charity shop. And then we've got some lovely new tumblers to take camping. And then to match, I got this lovely big bowl, which we'll do salads in. Um, so yeah, a nice big salad bowl. And it's the same make. So it's the With Bellow Designs Enjoy Summer. And it's just, yeah, this kind of crackledy. I don't know what you'd call that really, but I really like it because it kind of looks like it's glass, but it's not. It's a trick and it's nice and light. So a lovely big salad bowl. And then me and Toby were talking the other day about making our own lollies. So making our own Vimto lollies with squash because we had some ice cubes and we put Vimto in them and water. And we were both saying, I think it was even this morning, saying we should get some of these lolly mould things that you can make your own in. So I picked these up for £1.50, which is perfect. And Toby's going to be really happy, so we'll make those after school today. So this is the same make, and it just says, yeah, enjoy summer, lolly maker, wash before first use, and you can dishwash. Oh, I didn't know that's quite good. Dishwash safe, top rack only. And there's six in here in these pastel colours, so blue, pink and green. So that's going to be perfect to make our make our own Vimto lollies. So £1.50 for that. And as you saw from earlier on, they had a really good pet section as well and plenty of pet treats. So I got Rufus some of these. He loves these treats. Anything with this like chicken stuff on, he loves. So this is Sparks and Barks Dog Treats Fresh Chicken Dental. And there's loads in there. And that was £1.29. I thought these looked good. I haven't actually seen some mini 
freezer blocks. So I've got the large ones that take up quite a lot of room, but these are brilliant if you're just going out for the day and if you've got a little sandwich and you want to keep it cool and they take up less room in the freezer because at the moment our freezer is like just jam packed. I don't know if anyone else is the same. So when things are on offer in the shops, I tend to get them and, and put them in a freezer. So these will be perfect because they'll fit into little slots, not take up too much room and then be really handy when you take out lunches or you know whatever you need for the day and this will keep them cool. So these were £1.50 as well, which is really good. And I got the pink colour. And I think these are probably my favourite thing. I do love the camping chairs, but this is just so beautiful, this tray. And I couldn't believe it's only six pounds. I had to check a couple of times because I was like, that's a really good price for this tray. The Makers Cambridge, which is a really good make, and it's bamboo, bamboo eco, 38 centimetre round serving tray. And I love it. I love the pattern. I love the design. It's really sturdy as well. So we've got these little handles here. It's a really good sturdy tray. I do love a round tray as well. I think they look nicer than like, you know, the rectangle trays. I love that. How gorgeous is the design though? And I think all of the tumblers, all of the cups have sold out and the plates because I would have got some more in this range, but this was the only other, other thing I could see. These salad, salad, I was gonna say spoons, but they're salad servers, aren't they? So really lovely pattern. It's the same make, the Cambridge, um, it's Cambridge, English by design, it says on the back and bamboo eco serving utensils so they'd be great for the for salad for that big salad bowl i just thought they were lovely so i think they're probably my favorite my favorite things in this hall i love them really needed the chairs the camping chairs but i just think that's so beautiful and actually i don't have many trays i've got a couple of impractical ones that i keep in the greenhouse like wickery ones which are lovely but you can't put anything on them so i can actually use this for practical stuff for real things and you might not make it well you might come you might come camping but you might just end up staying in the house because oh i love it really love that tray so six pounds for that and then oh six pounds for the salad servers as well and when i was at the till paying for everything with my voucher i saw this hat and this is going to be for toby which i thought was perfect he's um he loves this green color so this is kind of khaki green and he's got shorts the same under armor shorts but in this um exact exact colour, exact material. So I think he's going to really love it. And I find it hard to get hats on Toby, my son, because he doesn't like wearing them, but I know he's going to love this. So I thought while it was there, I would grab it. So I paid for this one myself, that of my own money. This is an Under Armour cap and it just says on here, heat gear Under Armour keeps you cool. The RRP is 20 and in the factory, the original factory shop, I got it for £15. So when we go on our holidays, I think he's going to love it. So I tried it on as well, just to make sure. Oh, I quite like that. I don't really wear cat, but that's a nice one, isn't it? I don't think they really suit me, but um, hopefully Toby will wear that. If not, I'm sure Lee will nab it. I'm now onto my final thing, it's the camping chairs. So we've got three of them, these deluxe camping chairs, and I'll show you in more detail, but basically, let me have a look. It just says on here, out more camping, deluxe folding travel chair, padded backrest and arm support with side pocket, Fold away for easy transportation. They had these chairs in a few different colours, but I went for the green and the grey because it matches our tent. Our tent is the same colour, so they'll look really nice together. We'll look very smart when we go camping. So I got three of these, one for me, one for Lee and one for Toby, and they were £25 each. And because they're the larger chairs, they're bigger than the normal basic camping chairs, you can rest your head on the back. So it's really nice to have a bit of extra support so when you can lean your head back you know, if you want to sit outside or have a little snooze or something. So what I'm going to do now is set up these camping chairs, show you in a bit more detail and yeah, show you everything I've bought, kind of how I would set it up if I was camping. And I've just set up the camping chairs, so I'll show you in a bit more detail. I love them. I think they're great. And they're the exact same colours as our tent, like I said just before. So yeah, the deluxe camping chairs, I'm very impressed. You've got an area for your drinks. I've just put that in there. And look at this. I was really happy to see a little storage area, which I love because I've always got my lip balm and different things on me. So you can put it in here. I love little sneaky compartments like this. So you've got an area in here, blue, and then one in here. Oh, you can open that as well. So you could put your book in there or your sun cream or your bits and bobs, which I think is brilliant. So I didn't actually know they had that. I love that. It's gonna be really handy put little things in um so yeah love these chairs and i'm really glad we've got three because if i only had one of them we'd all be fighting over the best camping chairs so we've got one each now and um i just love that little storage compartment that is going to make me very happy i'm going to be showing off to our camping friends check out my 
little compartment to put things in. I love things like that. We're always really impressed. And then here I've got the little, the tray, the salad bowl and the service. So just pretend there's some nice salad in there. <laughs> so yeah, that is everything. That is my, um, that is my little camping setup. So I'm really pleased with everything. So let me know what you think and what's your favourite item. Obviously I love the camping chairs, but it's got to be that tray. I think it's just gorgeous. I love that pattern. So I'll be looking for some more things in this pattern. I love it. So I'm now going to have a little relax. I'm going to get my book and sit here in the shade because it's a bit too hot in the sun actually. So I'm going to sit here for a bit and read my book. But thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you very much to the Original Factory Shop for sponsoring this video. I've loved, um, I've loved doing this video. It's been really interesting going to a different shop and having a good look around and I've been amazed at what you can find in there genuinely I am definitely going to be going back in there soon because I love Stalham High Street anyway and it's fantastic so I'm going to go back and have a good look around um, when I next head over that way so yeah it was brilliant really enjoyed it so if you did enjoy the video make sure you give it a like and subscribe as well come over to Instagram if you are on there I'm Kate McCabe and my house account is Kate's Jordan Home I actually said the wrong one last week I don't know if you noticed I said Kate's Homely Home but I've changed it to Jordan Home so I'll link those below in my recent videos as well but thank you so much for watching thanks for staying to the end and I shall leave a link to the original factory shop below as well in case you want to go and have a look and see where your um, nearest one is because yeah they're fantastic and I love everything they're doing with the community as well I went to a charity shop and um, they've got a link with them where they sell books I think it's for the RSPCA so they kind of advertise each other and just you know generate um, a really good community spirit and I love that I think it's really nice I was, I was actually surprised to see that and I think they have a section where they're going to have um, people that make crafts so they're going to be able to sell things in the original factory shop as well I was having a chat with the guy from the charity shop and he was uh, saying lovely things about it so yeah really nice to see that the community spirit in there was um was really nice I didn't expect that and the staff were fantastic it was so helpful and lovely so I enjoyed my day out it was great <laughs> but thank you so much for watching have a lovely weekend I'll speak to you next week at two o'clock Take care and I'll see you soon. Have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.